right, hello, wine drinking people. Time for more of what I've had to drink yesterday, and our friends from Bodegas Juan Gil, from Humia. And this is a uh, very important producer. I think they own like 2,500 acres in this area. And uh, wow, they've been around since 1916. And uh, the Juan Gil family of estates, this is who this Bodega Sateca comes from. The Honor Honoro Vera from uh, Ruida, which uh, this is 100% Verdejo from Younger Vines. It's got a really pretty nose, orange blossom, like floral notes of the green melon, green apple fruit, note of that salty mineral, and kind of a mustard note showing up here in the nose. A really bright and zesty wine on the tongue with juicy fruit and that tongue tingly minerality leaving you tongue salivating for food. A very good little wine for 10 bucks? Wow. Well, did a double take on everything on this. Uh, tasting because all these wines, incredible values. Bodega Shaya from Ruida, and this is 100% Verde, also the Juan Gil family wines. Uh, older vines up to 120 years old, wow. This wine also sees some barrique, so a bit richer on the nose, kind of has a little nutty, almondy character to the lemon and green melon, lemon citrus and green melon fruit, some rocky minerally notes there as well, and then mustard dough coming out on the second day in this wine also. Quite a bit richer with layers of tree fruit, Creamy texture on the tongue and that almond nutty note on the finish. White flowers and a firm hand of a city holding things together. Excellent juice at $15. All right, the Juan Gil Dry Muscat up next from Humia. And this one's got kind of a sweet tart kind of component to the, to the bouquet. Kind of lime, Jolly Rancher, candy fruit, pretty floral notes, jasmine, rose water. Um, really kind of interesting nose there you get from Muscat, which is an aromatic varietal. Uh, very pretty wine on the palate, that lime citrus leaving your tongue tingling and uh, salivating for food with the impression of effervescence. Uh, got a lot of nice fruit, but dry at the end. A touch of that perfume and floral notes, but not overdone. Something I don't like about these aromatic varietals. They can be just too perfumey. This one's excellent. It's $13.25. All right, we're on to Humia next, Bodegas Juan Gil Manoro Vera. Uh, this is uh, the Honoro Vera, sorry. And that's, uh, I guess, named after the grandmother or something, honoring her with this name. And uh, this is the third vintage of this wine, a new product. And uh, sees four months in barrel, different vineyard site than the Clio and the other Juan Gil wine. And, the, uh, of course, the El Nido, the top wine here. This wine's got some nice black raspberry, blueberry fruit, along with the dried earth and kind of tobacco spice. Uh, very smooth and silky wine on the tongue, quite a bit lighter than the wine. Juan Gil Monastrell, and uh, it's a little bit of spice and light cocoa on the finish, short but pleasant, a good little wine at $10.25. My least favorite of all of them, but still good, and it's 10 bucks. The biggest Juan Gil Monastrell, which is the wine you see here with a silver label, this wine is a very rocky vineyard site, different from where they get the Honor Overo, and uh, this is the same vineyard they get the Clio from, so really intense color here, old vines, a whopping 15% alcohol, or as I like to say, highly effective wine. Dark berry fruit, blackberry, blueberry, kind of liqueur-like in richness, that black licorice spice and pretty floral notes. A big and fruity wine on the tongue with thick berry fruit, ripe brown tannins, dark spices, black licorice, sweet tobacco, dark cocoa, really nice richness here. Uh, big, but still quite balanced here. Very good stuff at $17. All right, the Cellars Comblau up next, and this is Cellars Comblau Blau. That's how they say it. Anyways, it's from Monsant, the flatlands of the Priorat. They make three wines at this property. This is the entry-level wine. It's a blend of 50% Mazuelo, 25% Syrah, and 25% Garnacha. And this is a big and robust wine on the nose. Wild flowers, game notes of the black plum and blackberry fruit, violet floral, soy, smoke. Really nice complexity here for such an inexpensive wine. $14. Wow. Good amount of that dark berry fruit showing on the tongue with black spices, bitter cocoa. And like gamey notes showing through there on the finish as well. Some dry tannins coming in at the end, but really nicely balanced. Just needs a bit of time. Very good juice at $14. All right, the Ateca Garnacha up next from Catalunya. This is a typical Grenache, big berry pie fruit, blackberry, blueberry jam, black licorice, bitter cocoa, fresh flowers here, a big and jammy wine on the tongue, that sweet tobacco spice and the jammy fruit, floral notes, uh, but showing some nice, some balance here as well, even though it's pretty big, smoky notes and floral highlights at the end, an excellent little bottle of Grenache, Grenache for $17. And then on to uh, Tempranillo from Castillo and Leon from Bodegas Trinton. And uh, this is a really ripe style of Tempranillo here. Really concentrated, rich with kind of a wild strawberry jam fruit and uh, pretty floral notes, dried meat and 
dark spices, a big and chewy wine on the tongue with layers of that dark berry fruit incense and ripe, but also has nice freshness. 16% alcohol. Hoo This is a little monster, but a really great value here again. Excellent juice. If you like that style, uh, at $18 a bottle. That's what we had to drink with our friends from Bodegas Juan Gil. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.